reason I'm in town because of a Kansas City chef. He knows a lot of people. People connected only by the slightest of events. Give me your wallet. Am I being mugged? That is how these affairs begin. The cat's in town. Good cat? Who's good cat? He shows people dying. He vanishes. Who are you looking for? This is our guy, Nick Fisher. Who is he? The kid and I have unfinished business. A, B, N. It's headphones, Neil! guys and welcome back to another episode of headphones neil reviews i'm your host as always headphones neil bringing you my review for a 2000 film or sorry 2006 style indie kind of film called lucky number 11 so i call it an indie style film just because you have a big cast of famous actors in it or at least actors that we consider famous and well known now but in a film that you wouldn't expect to expect them to be together in or one that generally just works in my opinion so like i said lucky number 11 released in 2006 it's about a guy who has the case of a mistaken identity for someone who everyone who he tells everyone is his friend he runs into the middle of a uh, mob bo- mob war between a guy called the boss played by Morgan Freeman and another guy called the rabbi played by Ben Kingsley so already right there you have two big name actors um, as far as other cast in the film you have uh, Josh Hartnett as the titular character Slevin you have Lucy Liu as the neighbor of this friend so-called friend uh, Stanley Tucci um bruce willis as good cat and then you have other people in there that you may have seen before they're not necessarily big or small name actors but in general if you might see them if you watch a lot of films so the reason i wanted to review this film was because just i was looking for something to watch and i was looking for some old film or quote old film that I haven't seen in a while that I generally enjoyed and this popped into my head so I thought why not rewatch it see how it holds up and in general I still enjoy it I still think it generally holds up the one thing that kind of stands out as not being up with the times is cell phones but then they also don't really rely on cell phones that much you have two um, mob boss figures who kind of deal with the old way of doing things so cell phones don't really play into that you have their henchmen who go to pick up Josh Hartnett um, you have a well world-class um, hitman in the form of Bruce Willis as good cat so in general all the pieces of the uh, film work well together and then by the twist in the, or the film presents the main twist in the beginning of the film in the form of the Kansas City Shuffle and then is paid off well in the end um, when they reveal that Josh Hartnett was in fact the son of a guy who was killed early in the film for betting on horse races and had to be made an example of um, because the race was fixed and he wasn't supposed to have that information so all in all a good film the acting is on par it doesn't try to do any more or less than um, what you would expect it to the it's not you know overly flashy or doesn't rely too much on I mean granted it's not a sci-fi or action film so you're not gonna expect too much CGI or um, anything like that but you don't have anything that's overacted um, Bruce Willis is kind of that quiet character that you see more now um, later in his career so in general that works so it's good to see that this um, early form of his quiet but strong acting um, and of course I'm partial to Morgan Freeman and Ben Kingsley they're acting um, generally stands out especially with Morgan Freeman and his sharing of the story of the schmoo and then Ben Kingsley and his speech about uh, living on both sides of the fence so his grass is always green and he doesn't care or he doesn't want for anything that anybody else has because he has everything at all times so that so if anything else watch the film for their um when you when they're introduced um in the film via josh hartnett going to meet them from um at towards i probably want to say in the first half of the film 
pay attention to those、um, speeches just because you get a good idea of how each character is, and both characters portray or play that off very well as far as、um, how the film ends with Josh Hartnett coming after both of them and kind of doing that big. Summary and reveal. So that's all there is for this particular review. There's not too much to say. It's a relatively、um, quick film in the form of about an hour and 50 minutes. It, it's not necessarily fast paced, but it's also not very slow. The acting is generally、um, pretty even paced, so you don't feel like it's going slow or anything like that. And then Josh、um, Hartnett's acting, as far as being, as far as not having a care in the world, carries the Uh, plot forward as the film progresses. So, as far as grading the film, I'd probably give it a, or I'd probably give it a biased score of about an A to A minus. In general, it was good. It was still a good, fun film to watch. I, you know, watching it maybe once a year, or once every couple of years would make for a、um, good watching just for a simple movie with all these big name actors to generally.、Um, See how the film comes together.、Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, it has a score of about a 52% with the critics and 87% with the audience. So, in general, the audience liked it and it enjoyed it. So, it's a good、um, comparison there.、Um, and, like I said, it's, it's not overacted or underacted. Everyone is well balanced. No one, no one character gets any more of the spotlight than anyone else. So, Even if you consider like Morgan Freeman and Ben Kingsley to be the bigger name actors, even if you include Bruce Willis and Lucy Liu, Josh Hartnett, I don't know how much he's been in lately, and I couldn't really say too many of his films, but everybody is on equal footing, so no one really has any more of a standout performance than anyone else, which, I, which, which is why I think. Um, it generally works for me. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or anything like that, did you like or dislike this film? Or what did you like or dislike about the film? You can comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, by supporting the show on Patreon, you get bonus content with the episode. So Um, and also, just general bonus content as far as upcoming content, what the schedule is for the month, and things like that. And of course, that's over on Patreon at patreon.com slash pateln01. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, and until next time.